So to all of the people that are working on co-ed stunting, that could be a guy single basing a girl, could be our girls also single basing a girl. One of the most important things that people tend to do wrong is their grip. Have you seen a grip that kind of looks like this? The hamburger grip, we're all familiar with it, just like we would eat a hamburger. Now that grip can be problematic for a lot of reasons, but the most important reason is safety. When we grip our stunt like this, it puts our top girl in a very unsafe position, and that doesn't even, we don't even need to go deeper into why that's not good. But another important reason is it's very hard to hit a stunt when we're holding like this. And the reason is we're only supporting our flyer with our thumbs, which we're not gonna be as strong in. And so today I wanna talk about how we can improve on our grip and give you guys an exercise to help make sure that you're getting the right grip every single time you toss your girl. Now when we're doing a proper grip, we have to remember where our hands are going from the beginning. After we toss, our hands are gonna overlap. Now you may have heard cues from coaches, make the L's and tuck them in. I think that's a fantastic drill, or a fantastic cue I should say. But we have to remember are trying to make as big of a hand or two hands as we can. We're making a platform for our flyer to land on. So I like to think make my L's and then spread my hands as wide as I can. This creates a large platform for the girl to stand on to mimic being on the ground. Now, most of the time, you're taught right hand is going up kind of in the back and we're tucking the left hand up front. When we do that, that gives us a little bit more platform towards the front, which allows the girl's foot to be fully cradled. If we catch too far back, that can be problematic. If we catch too far forward, she's gonna be on her toes. So for our drill, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a weighted sand ball. If you don't have a weighted sand ball, grab something that's round and heavy, something that you can hold with two hands. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our weighted ball or our weight of some sort into both hands in our proper grip, holding just like this. From here, we're gonna place it over our head and we're going to practice popping that grip and re-catching. So we pop, catch, pop, catch. And what we wanna do is we want to make sure that we're using our legs for this drill, we're keeping our arms as straight as possible, and we're absorbing each time. Now, when you first begin this, it's perfectly fine to pop, catch, kinda of reset, pop, catch, reset, and continue from there. But ideally, we want to be able to pop and adjust repetitively for up to a minute. Not only is this gonna help you to get a better grip for your stunts, it's also gonna work on shoulder conditioning so that you're comfortable with your arms overhead for that long. And lastly, and probably most importantly, it teaches you how to use your legs to pop, which is an additional plus. So for this, again, the recommendation is going to be perform this until you can work up to a straight minute for three rounds. Once you get to that point, increase the weight and continue to work again for three one minute rounds. Hey guys, hope this video was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments where are you at? What stunts are you working on right now? What are you trying to get better at? If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and click right around here for more videos on stunting. And we'll see you on the next video.